All right, this is workout A from Bodyweight Cardio 3. What we're going to start with is prisoner squats. So you're going to work through this giant circuit of exercises. And then if you're doing this just as a replacement for interval training, you can do it one more time. Now, if you're doing it as a full workout, you can do this three, four, even five times if you're advanced, okay? So what we're going to start with, again, prisoner squat. So hands up, elbows back, chest up. Push the hips back and down and up. So push those hips back, drive up. So from the side, you see elbows back, drive up. After that, we don't have bars here, so I'm not going to be able to do the pull-ups. But if you're strong enough and you do have access to the pull-up bars, you can do three repetitions of pull-ups. And we're not really going to failure in any of these exercises because we're doing it as a circuit. We want to get lots of reps in, but without going close to failure. Now after you've done three pull-ups, we're going to go down and do the elevated push-up. So something nice and sturdy, elevated four to six inches. So do all reps for one side, switch over. Then I'm going to get up and do diagonal lunges. So diagonal lunge, I'm stepping forward and out to the side. Foot stays facing forward, drop down, stretching through the groin, drive back up. Step out drive back up. Diagonal step out, drive back up. Great range of motion exercise here and mobility for the hips and through the groin there. And then we're going to go from that into jumping jacks. 30 more reps here. Again, we're really using this as a nice high rep circuit without going to failure but getting lots of movements in to replace regular cardio and regular interval training. Okay, but we're halfway through the circuit. We're going to move on to the next exercise. After the jumping jacks, we're going to go into regular vertical jumps. So for this one, what I want you to do is drive your arms down, drive up, land, get set again. And you're going to do six reps with that little pause at the end, landing nice and athletic, okay? Hips back, knees bent, absorb the force with your muscles. Then you're going to go back down to the ground. We're going to do the Spider-Man climb that we did in the warm-up. So bring that foot up, alternating sides. Then you're going to get up and you're going to go side to side jump. Then we're going to go back down to the ground, do either Spider-Man push-up or regular push-up. So the Spider-Man push-up is regular push-up position, but knee comes to elbow when you drop down. Or regular push-up. Pretty obvious there. Now after that, if you have access to inverted rows, you can do body weight rows. So we don't have uh, straps or a bar out here for rows. So we're going to skip that and we're going to finish with shuttle run. Okay, so 20 second shuttle run. You can set up the shuttle 5, 10 meters. Doesn't matter. You're going to sprint out down, sprint back in, and go for 20 seconds. Again, this is if you can do it. If you're inside, you can skip that portion. And then you're going to rest a minute and go through that one more time. If you're using it as interval training, or two, three, even four more times if you're using it as a full workout.